All right, all right. What's up, people, man? I want to get on here and talk about this, man, because it's tripping me out that there's not an outcry of or, or, or calls to have this dude arrested or whatever the hell you can do to a Dalai Lama or what are those people in India? I know it's over. he's over in India, but damn, I mean, what's up with this country, man? India is flawed as hell to me. I know they deal with a lot of that shit, dealing with them scumbags, treatment of a lot of the women. Uh, you know, it's just real foul nature. But just to see that this religious figure, this highly regarded dude within the uh, Buddhist following, can do some pedophilia shit like that in front of a bunch of people, supposed to be righteous people, uh, uh, enlightened people. And they sat there and watched this dude prey on a young child. And now, not, you know, no one even cringed at that shit. No one bad an eye. No one stepped in to a tip to even intervene with the first act that he did with this kid. Because there's two parts to what this fool did from bringing that kid up there, grabbing the kid kissing that kid on his mouth and then you're gonna ask the kid he gonna stick his tongue out and tell the kid to suck on his tongue what kind of sick ass shit is that and what other shit has this dude done that hasn't been brought to light that had there been other people that have drawn accusations against this old dude and people who have gone on to ignore it and knowing that there's probably you know uh, 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 evident cases of this dude probably preying on fucking children. And this is what bugs me about religious people of the world. They play off righteous. People buy into this whole righteous, uh, uh, you know, con job acts that they pull off. Salute boxing MMA. These con job acts that they pull off as being righteous, but throughout history you always hear of something going on behind the scenes when it deals with these churches there was also one i want to do one about the damn uh, uh uh catholic church and all them archdiocese down there in baltimore they said over a 50 year i think this investigation ran from the 60s all the way up currently there was over a hundred cases 150 something cases involving people out of the church in child uh, 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 you know, molestation shit that they hid. And this is the problem. People trust these fucking people in these churches. And you get people who will stay hush-hush about the same thing when you look at the Penn State situation with the Sandusky and, and P, uh, what was his name? What was that old man who coached the, uh, the uh, Penn State? Paterno? No, was not What's his Yeah, I think his name was Paterno or Patino, one of those two uh, uh, P, P name coaches. But the fact that th that shit was happening to those young boys and these fools sat there and stayed hush about the shit for decades. For decades, stayed hush about that shit. And then here you have for a half a century, the people out there in the Catholic church allowing so many kids to be victimized and they say nothing about it. Salute Toby Bartlett, salute. He says, salute myself in the chat. And I'm on, this, on these channels because my uh, main channel got another strike over video i put up try to take it down but they had already hit it with a strike so for f it is what it is i'll be on by time saturday come boxing may says i met the dalai lama says one time says years ago on holiday man hopefully you ain't hugged that old motherfucker but that that shit was some real sick ass shit and the fact that those people now one person got up the boy pulled away from this old cat and it was almost sick to even watch that shit because i'm seeing on damn uh cnn's website that the dalai lama apologized for something I'm like what the hell the dalai lama apologizing and it was saying something he asked a kid and i'm like what the fuck is this shit so i go look at this shit man this shit is sick man the shit is nasty as fuck and it's even sicker that all those damn people who are part of that damn church sat there and did nothing they sat there and did nothing like that shit is sick man and then it's like where are the parents of this young kid the parents should have been on the Dalai Lama head, punching the fuck out of it on some real shit. They should have been on there beating, 
his goddamn ass for pulling off that nasty ass shit. That kid gonna be traumatized unless that kid is a bunch of, around a bunch of weird ass pedophilia shit and it becomes normalized. But there's a lot of shit that goes on with Indians. That's why I be tripping when I hear people speak on all the negatives about what takes place here and praise other countries. And I'd be like, man, y'all know what the fuck y'all talking about. These other countries are sick, dude. These other countries are behind on time. These other countries stay locked in ancient, ancient type fucking behavior and conduct. And because old dude's time to build a slew, he says, absolutely. He says, and they be trying to crucify R. Kelly right, bro. Now, R. Kelly effed up. I ain't going to make no excuses for him if he did that. But R. Kelly ain't got nothing on what they do in these damn churches. R. Kelly ain't got nothing on that shit. These churches are sick, man. That's why I don't push that shit with my own kids. They want to learn religious. All you do, open that Bible, read it, and never try to go back in time to live like you live in those times. Just to get an understanding of what life may have been back then. But people take a misinterpretation of dumb shit. People start opening, you know, to worshiping people like they're godlike figures. It's no different than the Jim Jones shit. Matter of fact, there's this great interview, but this interview don't really touch on too much of the Jim Jones shit on that soft white underbelly. He, they interviewed this, it's a recent interview with like this dude who addicted to crack. I think his name may be Rogers, but he was talking about during this time where he had one of his friends, parents end up following this guy and try to push it off to his mother. Oh, it's this great, this great reverend and this and that. And he's speaking the word of the Lord and, and blah, blah, blah. And all these motherfuckers going down there to run the Jim Jones church because he's preaching this and that. And they going through hell and they're struggling and this and that. And they fall along with this guy's uh, uh, preaching, not teaching, but it's preaching at them. And these fools sell off everything, give control of their financial, whatever they have left over, over to this fool, fly the guy in, and they all end up dead listening to this fucking demonic, controlling piece of shit. And these people weaken their fucking mindsets into believing some human born out of fucking regular human pussy like the rest of us is some kind of God. If a motherfucker can't float in the, through the air, then he is no different than what you are as an individual. And people buy into this enlightenment shit. The Dalai Lama ain't floating through the air. He can't fly. He can't do no magic tricks. He can't do shit. So he's a regular individual who maybe, yes, yeah, he less threatening to people. Is he not some vicious uh, uh, in the mindset of wanting to attack people? Yeah, he's not that. But as far as what he's, you know, utilizing how these people worship shit and, and, and some of the most, you know, Un, unuseful ass ways of of modern society is just ridiculous. Boxing May says no. Nah, he just uh, says no. Nah, just shook his hand. Says he didn't really uh, want to shake anyone's hand. Says but he shook. Uh, but he sh uh, but he shook him or shook mine. Says he shook mine. And he says why are uh, says, why are massively powerful and influential people all weirdos and potentially pedos? I don't know, man. I don't know what the fuck makes these guys so damn weird. I think for one, they're just a little different than people. Um, I can't, I can't get, I can't, I don't know, cause I don't, I don't worship people. I don't follow people. Uh, I don't do none of that shit. I don't put people at a higher, at a, at a high standard. I don't play into boosting egos on motherfuckers and, you know, you're this and you're that. No, I'm, please. That's the worst thing people do is when they idolize people. Because I think that shit turns people into strange ass people. And the same thing with fame. Like how how does a person react to that kind of shit? People are following them and following their every word, what they say, people take as gospel and shit. And that can turn a person into some weird shit, especially if they play into it. And Xavier Moses in the building, salute, bro, salute. But yeah, that's all I want to get on here, man. Just get my opinions on this Dalai Lama shit and how sick of a person he is. And this is a dude who comes from, you know, having to be exiled, uh, uh, you know, with, with what China did to his country back in the day, taking over Tibet and all this other shit. And they rushed this dude out of there to protect him. And here this dude who finds himself being helped, protected, is out there preying on kids in a country to where being a predator seems to be the order of the day. Like I say, people talk about what America don't do and this and that. Like I say, stop just talking and go travel to some of these other weird ass countries.
and you'll see what goes on and you'll be happy as fuck to bring your motherfucking ass back to this country to where, yeah, we deal with shit, but it's, and it's, it's not too much that we can't handle. It's always something you got to address. But then when I look at shit, people, people uh, uh, excuse some of the weird shit that happens in society. They praise weird ass people. Like I look at the shit people praising the Donald Trump and then to defend Donald Biden this, Biden that. Man, Biden ain't doing half the shit that weird ass uh, 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 dump, dump Donald is doing this shit. But Donald ain't doing no goddamn Dalai Lama shit neither. And that's one thing I can say about him. He ain't on no Dalai Lama shit and he ain't on no Catholic church shit. And these motherfucking individuals have been, you know, put out there as powerful people. That shit, that shit is sick. I never knew too much about the Dalai Lama. I just always thought he was a person that came in peace. He reminded me of when I was a kid, the person who was kind of viewed as this, you know, spiritual figure and peaceful individual, harmless individual was Mother Teresa. Um, you know, they, that's the way they portray. I never knew much, much about M uh, Mother Teresa, but I just know in the religious world, she was highly praised person. And I don't never remember anything foul. People may have some foul things about it. I don't know about them. But that Dalai Lama motherfucker, man, they need to arrest that fool. But uh, if he was in America, hopefully America would have arrested his ass. But that's just some Indian shit that they have to handle. Hopefully they, they present something within their laws that charge that fool. Or is that the order of how religious people get to get down? That they can prey on people's children. And maybe if that kid has a father, or maybe this kills from an orphanage, who knows? Or if that kid had a father or anything, but you know, India is so oppressive and shit. They're so oppressive. And, and that, that's, a, that, that's a whole new topic to even address the shit that goes on in India. So, salute my brother, Xavier Moses. Them fools are so oppressive and uh, uh, segregated and shit and all that. They, it's just some strange shit amongst those group of people over there. But folks, that's all I got. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace, peace.